we're talking to people about their opinions on trending topics in this segment, Taking It to the Streets. The last time I shopped was at the dollar store. Uh, they had some beans that were dented, so I got it for half off for 50 cents. So what I like to do is I like to go there and make chili and then just invite everyone on my floor and then we have a potluck because it's all about community at the end of the day, Amazon. Amazon is killing my life and my life blood. Take it, Amazon. Might as well take it from me right now. You can't feel people online. You know what? They're, the art of the mom and pop shop is dying. And it's sad, honestly. I miss being able to walk down my street and walk into a corner store and, and pick up, you know, a, a, a nickel candy. It's just, it's, it's an inconvenience. People don't want to have to go and trek all the way to the suburb just to go shopping, uh, as opposed to just buying stuff online. Like people die, people die in Black Friday to get a deal on, uh, to get like a hundred dollars off a TV, which they could probably just order that on Amazon. Yes, I did speak on my love for Amazon and also my love for brick-and-mortar mom-and-pop shops. Uh, I'm a woman with layers. I aggressively use coupons. I'm a big couponer. My father was a couponer. His father was a couponer. Skipped a generation, but my great-great-grandfather was, um, and I don't know if you're going to believe this, Troy Coupon, uh, who, of course, invented coupons. He had a bit of a standoffish personality. Uh, he liked to bargain. And so, and, and often that would lead, lead to him uh, writing things on pieces of paper and saying, you're going to give this to me. <laughs> and you're going to give this to me for a deal. And you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to like it. My name is Troy Coupon. And he would sign his name on it. And because he wrote the name Coupon so <laughs> nicely, um, it stuck, I think. It's one, you know, one of those words that just kind of stuck in our language. This story, it's one of those stories that get, you know, everybody tells it differently every time.